Hey guys, hope you're having a great day. Today's video is on Poke and it's at the McCulley Shopping Center. If you go upstairs, they have a kind of like a small food court. It's got Ohana um, Poke House and Cochina Moon. And I wanted to actually do both like a little food court tour, but after speaking to the lady at Cucina Moon, she said that they sell sets, which sounds really awesome. So it's a set of pasta and um, gelato and focaccia bread. So I can't eat all of that with the poke. So I told her I promise I'd come back next time. And I'm really interested in trying their um, homemade pastas and everything. So if you're into uh, Italian food, go check them out. They're in the same food court upstairs. But today, like I said, is poke. So we're gonna check out two poke bowls from Ohana Poke House. All right, so first up is the spicy ahi. It has a lot of sesame seeds on top, a little bit different uh, from looking at, you know, where you go to Taniokas and stuff. Smells really good. It's got a lot of smells of flavors going on there. Doesn't smell too spicy. Actually has a smell of something Korean in there, like a kochujang. And you get free toppings that are complimentary on there. So I got some sea asparagus and uh, you can get limu, you can get onions, cucumbers, or um, green onions. But I wanted to keep it simple. I have it on a bed of sushi rice. You can get regular white rice, um, but let's take a taste. On top, there's some tobiko on there, on the poke, and it's got the traditional spicy ahi mayo sauce. At first, it's like creamy, it's got good flavor, a lot of sesame, because it's sprinkled on there, like a nutty roasted sesame. But ooh, at the end, there is some spice that hits you. The texture of the fish is really nice, so you can tell it's fresh. And I like how the rice is prepared. It's not hot, which is one of my pet peeves. It's just lukewarm rice. I just don't think putting raw fish on hot rice is a good thing, especially if you have to drive a little bit because it makes the raw fish go bad fast. So I like that it is lukewarm and not hot rice. You know, it's quite different to me compared to, you know, Foodland, Spicy Poke, uh, Spicy Ahi, and, you know, Taniokas and all that. It doesn't have your regular spicy ahi taste, but it's really, really good. It's something different, um, but it's still pleasant to eat. I definitely recommend you try it if you like spicy things. So I picked sushi rice. I'm really actually not too much a fan of it, to be honest, because I don't like sour things like vinegar, even though it's kind of subtle. But she said they were out of sushi rice, I'm sorry, out of white rice, that they were still making it and I would have to wait for a long time. So I said that's fine, but I don't know, tasting it, it's not very vinegary. So if you're I'm not a connoisseur or anything, if you are really into sushi rice, you probably um, would not be happy with this because it's not sour enough. But I don't know, as a person that doesn't like vinegar, it's perfect to me. I think it's fine, but it just kind of almost tastes like plain white rice. Um, I'm going to have some rice with some sea asparagus. I like it. If you've never had it, it's just a crunchy vegetable, but the inside has, I think, salt water or something. That's why they call it sea asparagus. So when you crunch into it, it gives you a burst of saltiness. Pretty unique little veg, veggie. It's almost like a fresher type of limu. So if you um, have a chance to try going here, it is one of the free toppings. So definitely try it. It's free. So this Poke Bowl, I would say it's pretty winners. I really enjoyed the taste. It is quite spicy. Spicier than a Foodland or typical Poke for spicy ahi. So if you're a spice lover, definitely try this. It has a little bit of a Korean flair with it, with a little bit of a, I don't know how to explain it, but when you taste it, you can tell it's Korean and like a kochujang thing. And then the uh, the spread of roasted sesame on there also gives it that Korean kick. But all in all, very good. I, I would get it again. All right, next up is the torched salmon bowl. Looks a little different from the picture I saw on the menu, but it's pretty big pieces and chunks of salmon. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of these big pieces. You got some ginger over here and some ocean salad, which is like a seaweed salad. And of course, your rice underneath. So all in all, all these bowls are pretty big, a pretty big portion. I mean, the price is up there because it's seafood, but you're getting a pretty hefty amount of food. So when the lady was making it in the back, I could smell the butane torch going and roasting the top of these um, pieces of salmon. So if you don't like sushi or poke or raw fish, this is another option because it's cooked fish. Oh, wow. That's really good. Mm. The salmon is so tender. It just falls apart. Look at that. Cooked perfectly, not overcooked where it's hard and, you know, sometimes it gets rubbery. It just kind of falls apart in your mouth. And the glaze on there is um, interesting. It's like a sweet soy glaze, but not your typical teriyaki type taste. It's very good and subtle, almost like a something you would put on butterfish, like miso yaki butterfish, but a little bit different. I like that kind of taste on fish or the marinade. And then look at the inside of one of the pieces of fish that I broke off. Like it's totally cooked all the way through, but not overcooked. So it is fully cooked. It's not raw fish, but it is just cooked perfect. It literally like melts in your mouth. And then when you get a little bit of the pieces of the outside that's um, torched, it has that really nice charred flavor. So if you're into that kind of flavors with the sweet soy marinade, it's really good. You'll like it. Okay, now it's registering to me because it's a little bit different with salmon, but it's like a unagi sauce. So think of like unagi that has been torched as well with those charred marks, how they brush on the sauce on there. But it's not eel, it's salmon. So if you like um, anything unagi, unagi sauce, but you want to try something different, this is it. It's super delicious. The glaze on here is yummy. And it goes well with the rice. It's soaked into the rice. So the rice has all that sauce. All right, let's try um, the seaweed salad or the ocean salad. It's just basically thinly cut strips of like kelp seaweed, usually mixed in a sesame seed oil and salt type of marinade. Really crunchy. I like the texture. I mean, I've had it before, but this one's really good. Nice and crunchy. Not too much sesame seed oil, because when you put a little too much of it, it kind of turns me off. Uh, but just right. And it's uh, seasoned well, salty enough. Um, going a little bit more into it as I dig into it, looks like there's little chili peppers in there. Let's get into that. So it looks like these little chili pepper things are in here. But I don't think it's spicy at all. I don't think it's hot. I don't taste any spice, but there's a little bit of sprinkled in sesame seeds. I just think it tastes like a really good ocean salad. I'm not going to go into the ginger. I'm really not a fan of pickled ginger, but if you are into it, they give a pretty good amount to pair with your rice and stuff if you eat uh, that with your rice and fish. But all in all for this one, I would say this is really good too and I get it again. A little bit more pricey than the poke, but like I showed in the beginning, that was a lot of pieces of meat and I still have one, two, three, four left. Um, so I'm gonna finish eating this. And of course the same amount of rice, so it's filling in the sides. On this one you can also add um, sides if you want onions, cucumbers, limu, which I think is kind of odd, but if you like that you can put it on there and it's free again. Um, I just told her to put on some green onions because I didn't think the other things matched really. So she agreed and she put a little bit of green onion on there. And yeah, so I enjoyed Ohana Poke House. I've had them on my list all of last year and just never got to get to it. I have so many other things on my list that I didn't reach uh, since I only usually do it once a week. Um, so it's really hard to get through the whole list. But eventually I'll get to the rest. But yeah. Ohana Poke House. If you're looking for something fresh, good quality ingredients in fish, and you have somebody in your group that might not eat poke or raw fish, you've got these other options of cooked fish dishes. It's uh, 
very well put together. The service was very friendly. Um, she was very patient with me because I wasn't sure what I wanted. There's pictures there to show you what each dish looks like if you're not sure on what to order. So very nice. Inside there's seating if you want to sit down and eat. Um, it was quite crowded in there but there was a couple of seats that were open. I'm trying to go out more and eat at parks and stuff but lo and behold the day I want to um, film it's raining outside. So I went to a couple of different parks around that area, it was just pouring, came more towards the west side and it's still drizzling. So I tried my best to find different parks and I kind of quit because after a while this uh, seafood's going to go bad so I just decided to just park and film in the car uh, to stay dry. But yeah, that's pretty much a short video of uh, Ohana Poke House, definitely go there if you're in the McCulley Shopping Center area. I'm going to leave it at that for this video. It's quite short. First video of the year, so sorry. But the reason being is the next time you see me, we will be in a different place. So another adventure, uh, travel adventure for those who do like my travel videos. Um, and hopefully that'll be the next video after this and I can edit it on time to show you where we're going. So um, I'll see you next week. And I hope you enjoy that travel video if I can get it out. And take care, everybody, and I hope you had a happy New Year's Eve and enjoyed plenty of food and um, company with your friends and family. And take care, have a great day, and see you next week. Peace out.